Hi everyone and welcome to our chow time and for today's video we're going to be going over some tips and tricks at ordering at a restaurant to help you have an overall satisfying experience. Are you one of those people who takes forever ordering? You just don't know what to do, you have a ton, you see a huge list of items on a menu and you're just not sure what to do. You panic order, doing something that you know that's on like every menu or you just pick something completely random and you end up regretting your decision as you start eating it. So here are some tips and tricks to help you have a better experience. So for this video, I'm only going to be going over general tips and tricks. I will be going into more depth on another video about um, reading through items and their descriptions and how would you choose what would you like. First, if you know, if you're going to a restaurant and you know you want to get a drink, whether that be an alcoholic or something else, make sure to decide what you want to drink first because waiters will typically get your drink first. So if you want beer or wine or a cocktail, try and look at them in you first so that way they can get you your drink as quick as possible. Next one is a no-brainer. Don't order anything that you can't eat. If you have an allergic reaction to something, that's not going to be good for anyone involved, you or the restaurant. So stay away from things that you know have something that you're allergic to, whether it be dairy or nuts or soy or gluten, whatever. Restaurants these days are usually very helpful in pointing out what dishes contain what common uh, item that people might be allergic to. If you have any doubt, be sure to ask your waiter about it. You can never be too careful, especially when it's your own health on the line. Also, that also goes the same through dietary restrictions. If you can't eat a certain uh, item, such as you can't eat a certain protein, again, whether that be for uh, allergy reasons like shellfish or fish, or you just you know have chosen not to eat a certain protein, make sure to not order any of those dishes that contain those items within them. You don't want to burden the people in the kitchen with adding too many substitutions because you can't eat it, especially if there's already uh, plentiful available options for you. If there really isn't anything for you to eat, let's say you're at a chain restaurant and you are lactose intolerant and, you, and there's a lot of items with cheese or dairy or dairy put into sauces or on salads and there really isn't a lot of options then you do have to, you will have to make a request to the waiter if there's any way that you can get something that does not have um, dairy because you can't consume it. There are items that are usually highlighted on the menu because these are crowd favorites or it's very popular item that multiple people order and enjoy Usually it's an item that has brought fame to the restaurant. It's their signature dish. Um, these would be good places to look at if you really don't have any clue where to start because it is, no, is a known favorite. Um, multiple people have enjoyed it and the, uh, the restaurant is very familiar and they know that this is their uh, pride and joy dish their signature dish and they are very and they'll be very familiar with it another tip would be to order a dish that reflects the uh, the place that you're at for example if you are at a steakhouse you should probably order steak because that is you know their thing they might have some other random options but their main focus is going to be steak same thing if you're at a seafood restaurant um, you should probably be ordering fish or seafood because that is their focus. Not to say that any other options are bad. The reason why you went to this restaurant is for their, you know, famed whatever, and so you probably should order, you know, in that genre. If you see a dish that seems a little bit out of place compared to the rest of the menu, like a very off random uh, dish from a different cuisine that doesn't really fit in with the restaurant, um, you probably shouldn't order it. They'd probably just have that as a token dish just to um, appease people who don't exactly want to order everything, anything else on the menu. Most likely go to a restaurant focusing on this type of cuisine and get a better dish because 
that's their focus. And if you really can't decide, uh, a, a thing would be to go with your gut, literally your stomach. If you went into a restaurant wanting pasta, but you randomly order something else, then you're gonna be a little bit less satisfied because you kind of already are betraying your own expectations. It doesn't hurt to do some research beforehand on the restaurant that you're about to go to if you have that kind of time. Just you know, look up uh, some general reviews just to see you know what have people said are you know their favorite dishes or you know what they liked. But by all means, take some of these reviews with a grain of salt, as some people tend to go off and exaggerate things a little bit more than usual, and there could be some you know false reviews. But it does. It will give you a good direction to focus to look towards. And if you really can't decide on what you want to get, and uh, you're just you're still not sure, and you're still on the fence about maybe you're on the fence between two options, and you just kind of want an extra additional input, you can always ask your waiter. They probably have a good idea on what's good and what they like according to their preferences. Again, you know. Be mindful that they themselves have their own preferences. So I hope all these tips and tricks help give you a satisfying dining experience. These are my observations and opinions. These might differ depending on the restaurant or the wait staff, but these are still good uh, things to keep in mind when you, when you are ordering at a restaurant. So this has been my video on tips and tricks for ordering at a restaurant. Um, if you like what you see or like to see anything else, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. My name is Chai. I hope to see you next time on It's Chai Time.